friends and welcome back to Laya Bove Yoga. This is day 8 of the 21 day yoga challenge with 12 minutes of yoga every day. I'm super excited to see you again. I'm so glad that you're here and that you're continuing to come back to these classes and that hopefully you're feeling super super good. So today's class is about grounding and balance. So if you're ready, roll out your mat, take a deep breath and let's get started. We'll begin standing up today, so go ahead and come onto your mat and take your feet about hips distance apart. Lift your toes from the earth just for a moment and spread the toes if that's something that your feet do and then gently bring your toes down one by one and roll the shoulders back, face the palms forward, allow the tailbone to drop down towards the earth and reach up through the crown of your head and close your eyes and take a couple breaths here in mountain pose. Noticing the way that you are standing and feeling rooted and connected. Take a deep breath in. And sigh it out. Reach your arms up as you inhale. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. And begin to push the hips a little bit to the right as the arms go over towards the left. Optional here to look up towards the right arm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathing, come back to center. Grab your left wrist this time, lengthen as you inhale. And as you exhale, the hips press a little to the left. Take the arms over to the right. And again, optional to look up to the left arm. Inhale, come back to center, release the wrist, palms touch. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Soften the knees, allow the belly to rest on the thighs and relax your neck. Bring the hands to grab opposite elbows here and hang for a second. Maybe it feels good to sway side to side. And release the hands to the earth. Bring the hands right in front of your face, inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, fold forwards again. Inhale, lengthen, bring your right hand right in front of the face, bend your right knee, and as you breathe in, take the left arm up and twist. And exhale, allow the left hand to come back down. Left hand in front of the face, bend the left knee, inhale, peel the right arm open, twist towards the right. And exhale, gently release the right hand down. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, reach your arms. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Bring your feet wider than your hips and turn your right toes towards the short edge of your mat. Begin to bend that front knee and lengthen the arms. Warrior two, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Flip your front palm. Take your left arm to your left leg and reach your right arm straight up towards the ceiling. Keep bending through the front knee. Maybe you take that arm closer towards your ear, coming into a deeper back bend. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Take the right forearm to the right knee. And reach your left arm straight up towards the ceiling, coming into a side angle. Keep plugging your right hip back into the socket and press strongly through the knife edge of your left foot. Inhale back to center. Lengthen your right leg. Turn the toes back towards the long side of the mat. Bring the hands to your hips. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lengthen the spine. And exhale, take the hips back and the chest forward and hinging from the hips fold all the way forward. Maybe the hands come down to the earth. Relax the neck. Lift the kneecaps up and keep the legs super engaged here. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Hands to the hips, come all the way up. 
This time turn your left toes towards the short side of the mat and bend that knee. Stacking the left knee and the left ankle on top of each other. Take the arms out, reaching the left fingertips forward and the right arm back, coming into your warrior two. Breathe in. Breathe out. Flip your front palm. Take the right arm to the right leg and reach your left arm up towards the sky. Keep lengthening through the sides of the ribs. Keep bending to the front knee. Maybe the arm goes a little bit further back. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, left forearm to left knee. Right arm straight up towards the sky. Inhale, back to warrior two. Lengthen through the front leg. Turn the toes to the long side of the mat. This time, interlace the fingers behind your back. Reach the fists down towards the earth as your chest rises. Breathe in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And exhale, again, from the hips, hinge forward. Maybe your arms go up and over just a little bit. And exhale, release the hands to the earth. Right hand right in front of the face. Left arm lifts, twist towards the left. And exhale, take the left hand down to replace the right. Peel the right arm open, inhale, lift. And exhale, take that right hand back down to the earth. As you inhale, find length in your spine. Now as you exhale, begin to bend your right knee as you turn your left toes up towards the sky and lower down any amount. Maybe you lower down all the way down to Skandasana. Maybe you're halfway there. You can keep the hands in front or you can bring the palms in front of your heart. Breathe in Skandasana wherever you are. And gently place the hands back down and as slow or as high as you'd like, switch to the other side. So this time, you bend through the left knee, right toes point up towards the sky, fingertips may stay on the earth, palms may come in front of the heart. And just breathe. And gently bring the hands down to the earth. Come back to center, point the toes straight forward. Lengthen the spine, inhale, and exhale, fold forwards. Go around through the feet, inhale, come all the way up. Take the arms up with you. And exhale, bring the hands to your hips. Now this time, bring the heels in and leave the toes out, readjust the stands until it feels comfortable, and begin to bend the knees here. The tailbone reaches down towards the earth, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and keep the knees on top of the ankles. Take the arms up into cactus arms, and breathe here. And if it gets intense, breathe deeply, stay present, you've got this. One more breath. And inhale, lengthen the arms, lengthen the legs. And begin to bring your feet closer together. As you bring the palms in front of the heart, inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands to your hips. And begin to lift your left knee up. Maybe you leave the toes on the earth if your balance is a little bit off today, and that's totally fine. And as you exhale, begin to open that knee towards the left, and bring the foot to the inside of your leg. Maybe it doesn't come all the way up to your thigh, maybe you're on the lower leg, or maybe your toes are touching the floor lightly. Just coming into a tree, keep the hands on the hips, lengthen through the spine, press the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. 
Maybe the palms come together in front of the heart. Or maybe today you're feeling like reaching the arms up. Your choice. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, release. Switching sides, hands back to the hips. Pick up your right knee this time, breathe in. Breathe out, open to the right. Keep the hips nice and level and bring the foot wherever it wants to go. Make sure you're not on top of the knee, either below or above. Find your stance here. Press the foot into the leg and the leg into the foot. Maybe the palms come together in front of the heart, also creating that pressure into the midline to keep your balance. Maybe the arms rise. One more breath. And gently release the foot. Bring the palms back in front of your heart and come into your tippy toes for a moment. And gently, maybe staying on your tippy toes, lower yourself all the way down. And then gently sit. Find Sukhasana or any other comfortable seat. Rest the hands on the knees, close your eyes. And just take a couple of breaths here, feeling the energy, the warmth that you've created through your practice. Bring the palms in front of your heart and bow your head in gratitude. Namaste. Well guys, thank you so much for having joined me for day eight of the 21 day yoga challenge. I really hope that you feel grounded, that you played a little bit with balance and that you are ready for the rest of your day. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and comment and subscribe to the channel so you can continue to see my content and practice yoga and I can continue to make videos for all of you. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you tomorrow for day nine. Mm -hmm.